What are you doing being lazy? What are you doing with the dirty sock? You nasty. Sit down. Sit down. Shake. Uh oh, other hand. Oh, good baby. Good baby. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, tomorrow's Bobblehead's cabin day. And uh, I've got to get everything together. Uh, it's going to be raining. Uh, can't load the truck till in the morning because it's going to be raining. But I'm going to write a list of everything that I need and then get it together right now. So, let's go write a list. All right, I'm gonna write on a flower. First things first, we need to take care of the water issue. Tarps, uh, canopy. My camera keeps turning off, but I got tarps, canopy, ponchos, extra jackets, hammock, shovels. I'm just gonna put tools. I'll know what I have when I get out there. Shop vac. Uh, camera gear. Alright guys, so it's raining, and it's cold, <laughs> and I was supposed to be at Bobbleheads like two hours ago. I didn't oversleep, I woke up and then I said, I love you buddy, but I'm going to be a couple hours late. So, uh, but now it's time to get going, I gotta load the truck up. So, let's load the truck up. Man, my truck looks like a mess. I'm gonna have to secure that better or it's gonna blow around. I don't think it'd fly out though. That's not what I meant, but that helps too. <laughs> Alright, let's warm up the pickup. Secure this better somehow. I'll just throw it up here. You're gonna go in my mouth. My mom always said, "Don't put things in your mouth." I say, "What about people on YouTube? Can I do that?" That actually sounded really bad. <laughs> Anyways, we are loaded up. We got blower, shovels, canopy, shop vac, <laughs> still not very secure. Uh, oh yeah, there's some hedge trimmers too. Man, weed eater, gasoline, bottle on the gasoline so water doesn't get in. You probably see my panties on my clothesline. That took way longer than it should have, but... Got everything. I'm still at my house. I could go in and get my lens caps and my waterproof case for my GoPro, but I'm not. So I'm tired of going in now. Truck sounds rough, but let's roll. Bobblehead said show up whenever. So, uh,. I'm teasing, I, I'm running late. Should have been there already, but uh, it's not every day I get to sleep in a little bit on a rainy Saturday. <laughs> and uh, it was cold, and I didn't want to get out of bed. But uh, we're turning on the maiden highway now. We're about to, here's the intersection here. All right, there's, Three turns to get to Bobbleheads from my driveway. I turn right, right here. All right, so here's our situation. 
y'all can hear me over this is gas leak, but Bubble Hitch turn off is 17 miles from my house. So I just watch it on the odometer. It was at 71, so we're going to 87 on the odometer. 88, right? And uh, that's about my turn off. It's really easy to miss it. Bubble Hitch passed it, I've passed it. But, um, and it looks different in the winter and the spring, obviously, so it's easy to, anyway. So, one mile after that turnoff, there's a huge bridge, and it's a, a high water crossing. And if you're not careful, you'll drive right into it. So, we gotta, uh, we gotta go down there, and we're gonna check that water crossing. That's at 17 miles. And if that isn't open, we're gonna have to go 60 miles all the way around. So it's a huge difference, but it depends on that, if that bridge is open. But if we can make it past that first one, I think we can make it past the other three. But boy, it'd be a pickle if we didn't. All right, I'll get back to you when we get close to the turn. Just gonna prove. Guys, look how beautiful this barn is in front of all these flowers. And uh, we're just stopped in the middle of the highway. And it's the country, so we can do that. But let's get the camera and get some good photos of this thing, man. I've been wanting to do this so bad. Every time I drive by here, I want to get some good pictures of this thing. And look how beautiful it looks. And the, uh, boy, let me turn my camera to the right settings. All right, I'm going to drop this camera. I'm going to take a bit. I'm going to get some good pictures, and we'll come back, and I'll show you guys. the shindig that washed out and uh, I got I drove all the way across the mountain and got stuck right there and I had to go all the way back around the real bummer but I think we're good to pass this time hopefully if the rain settles down I might get stuck tonight though here's the next bridge it's good onward Bunch of tires. Man, I wish y'all could see how cool this is. We're almost to the top of the mountain, so I'm just gonna stick with you guys. Hopefully, y'all like my singing. I might have cut that out. If I cut that out, well, y'all are lucky then. Man, the top of the mountain. Let's jump out. We can park here too. Oh. very hard to photograph or film especially with all the fog but it's just mountains on mountains on mountains all the way back anyway we're already late let's go sorry Jeff you'd stop too we have arrived at the next bridge and it seems to be in good shape too. A good deal.
moment he knew. I'm still at my house. I could go in and get my lens caps and my waterproof case for my GoPro, but I'm not. What have I done to you guys? Oh no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yo. Oh man, we're never making it to Bobblehead's house, are we? Alright guys, we're pulling up to the next bridge and it does not look good. Oh, it's alright. We just gotta roll slow because I got an exhaust leak. So I was actually watching Jeff's live stream and I missed the turn, but right back there at the four way I turned right. And uh, it was basically 10 miles across the mountain. So, almost there. They're already talking about me being late. <laughs> All right, I'll be right there guys. One more left turn and here we are. Look at that cabin, man. How cool is that? Dude. Uh, Man, I'm excited, Jeff. I can hear him working away. Here comes somebody. <laughs> How exciting is this? I should have been here hours ago. All right, all right, all right. Let's get to, let's get in there now. Well, I almost forgot one more thing. Rubber boots. There we go. All right, now let's put my nice dry shoes in the truck. All right, let's go see everybody now. All right, so we are clearing all of this to get to this shed. And uh, I just found this really cool mushroom. Check this guy out. Hey guys. So I know it's loud, I know the truck's loud, but um, I'm just leaving bobbleheads, I'm on the way back to the house now, and uh, man, we got so much work done, it was so awesome, and uh, some people made us a bunch of food, and we ate really well, actually, and uh, man, it was just super awesome. Uh, some people worked on the cabin, uh, we tore down an old shed, um, some ladies worked on cleaning up an area uh, with a bunch of trash. They got all that cleaned up and looking really nice. We trimmed up some trees. Uh, we laid a bunch of wood chips down around the tree. I mean, so much stuff we did, dude. It was really, really awesome. And uh, I don't know how many of you guys will see this, but I appreciate everybody that was there to help. And uh, a bunch of people are going back tomorrow. Unfortunately, I got to work. But uh, man, it was a super day, dude. Super, super day. So we didn't get a whole lot of footage because we were all working and it was raining, so it's kind of hard to use the cameras. But man, it's super cool. But uh, we're just on the way back now. I'll show you all the mountain. Uh, riding the Chevrolet. I got a whole bunch of trash here. I can show you that. I've got a dumpster I can use for free, so I took a bunch of trash for Bobblehead. He only gets five bags a week, so time for the bridge. And it is passable. Thank goodness.